Hello everyone! In this video I am going to show you how you can get weathering waves in real HDR using Special K and Reno DX. This video is perfect for those who just aren't satisfied with SDR and want to enjoy the peak that is WUA in true high dynamic range. Let's not wait any longer and dive right into the tutorial. For the first step, open the link in the description that takes you to the Special K page. Then download the tool just like I'm showing you. Windows Smart Screen might show you a warning. You can safely ignore this, as Special K is a trusted tool used by thousands of gamers. Once the program is installed, you should start it. It's very likely that Wuthering Waves does not show up inside of the Special K program. To fix this, simply head over to C. Wuthering Waves, Wuthering Waves Game, Client, Binaries, Win64 and then locate the client win6 for dash shipping.exe using the special k ad game dialog i have a great tip for you also if you want to skip that annoying epilepsy warning simply add skip splash to the launch options once you have done that press ad game to add weathering waves we aren't done yet right click weathering waves click properties then make sure to tick the elevated service box please make sure to enable this option as special k won't work otherwise the next option is to add Reshade to Special K. Check the link in description for Reshade 60 for DLL. If you've downloaded that, we have to place it inside the Special K folder. Finding this folder can be a bit tricky, so can do it the way I'm showing you, or navigate to C. Program Files, Special K. Once you have found the Special K folder, copy the Reshade DLL you've downloaded, and navigate to Plugins, Third Party, Reshade, and then simply paste the DLL file inside. If you followed all my steps correctly so far, then you've successfully set up Wuthering Waves with Special K and Reshade. Let's test this by launching the game through Special K. Make sure to always launch the game through Special K, or else it won't be able to inject itself. For convenience, I recommend making a shortcut of the game with Special K. This can be done by right-clicking Wuthering Waves inside of Special K. If you see the Special K pop-up, then congratulations, everything is going as planned so far. If not, then rewind the video to see if there is anything you missed. Once the game loads in, press Ctrl Shift Backspace to open the Special K menu. Then simply look at the bottom in the pop-up for the tab, Plugins, click on that, and you should see a Reshade section. Tick the box next to Reshade to enable it. Then make sure the Reshade setting is set to Plugin, and Compatibility Mode is turned off, or else you might experience some issues. If you click on the Load Now button, you should see the Reshade menu pop-up. If you followed all the steps until now, then you can simply close the game. Now, open Special K again, right-click Wuthering Waves, then click Profile Folder. You should see a Reshade folder, open that, and then Add-ons. Now you simply want to paste in the Reno DX Plugin that you have downloaded from the link in this video description. For the final step, copy the Reno DX configuration in the video description. Go back to File Explorer, and then back out a folder, you should see two INI files. Reshade.ini and Reshade1.ini. Make sure you open the normal one. You can ignore the 1.ini file. Open the Reshade.ini file with a text editor of your choice, and then simply scroll down and paste the Reno DX configuration at the bottom of the file. Remember the place of this INI file, as it will be important for changing the settings. Make sure to change peak brightness to the highest brightness your laptop screen or monitor can go. If you don't know this value, you can look up the model online or go to Windows Settings and then monitor to see how bright Windows reports your screen can get. My laptop screen goes up to 1100 nits, so I am going to change the value accordingly. Once you have edited that, save the file and close everything. Launch Special K either through the shortcut you've made or by opening Special K and then starting Wuthering Waves. Just like last time, wait for the game to load before trying to open Special K. Once you have done that, you should see in the bottom left that the files have loaded successfully. Now, simply press the home button on your keyboard to open Reshade. If you did all steps correctly, you should see the Renaud X tab floating. You can drag it to the other Reshade tabs to pin it there. The peak brightness should also be the value that you set it to inside of the INI file, then you know everything is working correctly. Feel free to play around with the sliders, but make sure to not touch any of the toggles at the resource upgrade section. If you want to save the values, simply make a screenshot of your settings, and then go back to the IN. I file of the previous step and edit the variable using the text editor. That was it for this tutorial. If you've liked it, then please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in my comments section or Discord channel link in the description. That was all. 
Now enjoy playing Wuthering Waves in true HDR.